The Cancer Research Symposium presented by Missouri Cures Education Foundation will bring together our area's leading medical researchers to discuss new developments in fighting cancer. Joining me is Executive Director of Missouri Cures, Dina Ladd. Dina, welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell me about your organization. Missouri Cures is a statewide organization. We are the only organization in the state where our prime focus is to promote and protect medical research going on here in the state. Now, how big of a struggle is it to protect medical research? Well, back in 2006, we were the stem cell organization uh, that ran the campaign to protect stem cell research here in the state. So that was quite a fight. I don't know if you remember that. Yes. But now all research that is legal on the federal level is legal here in Missouri because we want to make sure we can attract the best and the brightest researchers to come to Missouri at our wonderful research institutions. So we continue to monitor the legislation on the state level, making sure that there are no anti-research amendments or legislation that would really, you know, hamper the research going on in the state. Is there any one or, or any one organization in particular that you find yourself up against when you say that, you know, this is a fight to make sure? We do. We have we have specific opponents who um, are not really supportive of all types of stem cell research. So, um, but you know, we work hard with our C4, which is Missouri Cures, and we educate the legislators. We do. We meet with them one on one. We do education programs at Washington University and Stowers Research Institution in Kansas City, really teaching them why it's so important that we have a, you know, this medical research taking place here. It creates jobs, it helps our mm -hmm. economy, and it's just really important that we stay on that level playing field um, with everyone else in the country. Dina, I was really pushing you to name someone in particular, but I'm going to back <laughs> off because I can tell you when I'm politically you. correct. <laughs> Let's talk about the symposium that's coming up. Tell us about that. Well, we also have a nonprofit arm called the Missouri Cures Education Foundation, and it's through the Education Foundation we do symposiums that are free and open to the public. And so this Friday, May 1st, from 9 to 11:30, uh, we have the Cancer Research Symposium. So we are extremely excited. We have some amazing researchers who will be there. Five um, researchers talking about cutting edge research, talking about breakthroughs in blood diseases, and talking about cancer viruses that not only help humans, but also dogs and cats. Wow. Yeah. What are you most proud of about your organization? Um, I think a couple of things. Um, certainly protecting the medical research because we really are the only organization that continues to do that. Um, we work very closely around the state with patient advocates patient advocacy groups, business leaders, researchers, and it really, we just love promoting the research taking place because we are very fortunate in Missouri to have such great institutions here. What do you think the organization's greatest contribution has been so far? Well, I think that would have to be getting the, um, the stem cell amendment passed in 2006. That's a constitutional amendment, and so, you know, hopefully researchers feel that they can continue the great work that they're doing here in the state, and um, so that would have to be really the greatest contribution. Okay. Yeah. How significant is St. Louis uh, to the cancer research arena industry? Well, it's amazing. I mean, we have the Siteman Cancer Center here, um, which is one of the world-renowned cancer centers. Um, so, again, we're very fortunate to have that here in St. Louis. Um, all of the researchers that are speaking from Washington University on Friday are affiliated with the cancer, with the Seidman Center. So we're very excited about that. Um, we have Dr. Bland from Stowers Institute of Kansas City. She'll be speaking on Friday. And then we also have Dr. Carolyn Henry from the University of Missouri Beth School. So nice array of researchers from around the state. So you're sharing information with veterinary uh, organizations and, and veterinary doctors? Well, uh, one of the sessions that we have on Friday is Dr. David Curiel and Dr. Carolyn Henry who have been working together um, on these cancer viruses that actually prevent and treat cancer in humans and in canines. 
So That's amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with more from Missouri Cures Education Foundation after we take this quick break. Stay with us. <laughs> 